Hello everyone, and in this video, as you can see, shut up, yes, I get it, I get it. Um, as you can see, I'm on Payday 2 again, and um, I just wanted to do a video on how to solo stealth Bane's bank heist pro job on death risk difficulty. Um, I'm gonna just be, I'm not, it's not like a tutorial, I'm not gonna tell you how to do it, you can just watch and kind of learn and stuff, but you'd need a full stealth skill set, that's all I'm gonna say, you need a full stealth. So, this is pure oil for the machinery that is your plan. And I'm just, Good thinking. This can only you want the spy cams and stuff in there. You don't need them, but they help a lot. That's how I would have. All right. Excellent. Time to put it to the test. Ah, uh, I've messed up on something. That's good, anyways, because then I can show you proper, like you know, the stuff. Not, not the skills, because it takes ages to show all the skills. But I can show you the job that I was doing. Right, I want the equipment on two ECM jammers. Right. You want to buy a contract? It's on Baines. It's only do the pro jobs. I have a gold or this one. I'm doing this one. Private. You want no team AI. I'm going to put it on Deathwish. This amount of XP isn't a lot for my level. It still helps. The cash is a lot if I open all the deposit box with a saw, which I've got a build for that. But seriously, you can do stealth like, as soon as you start the game. So doing this at a low level is really good. Like it's really good. A lot of XP, 200 and uh, over 200k at level zero will get you to like 20 or 30 just in one match and. Solo stuff in this for me is really easy, so that's why it's good. So when I push these, I can just do this. I'm going to be doing another another video after this as well, showing on this heist on this map all of the gauge packages, you know, to get all of the weapon mods and stuff. That's why I love doing this on solo because it gets you a lot of weapon mods. I say on the body bags. Trust me. Uh, inside the help work. officer. Let's yeah. put this book right, start. Everyone Hopefully, I've got all the right stuff now. I should, I should have checked before I could start. Lot. So, grab that before you make your move inside. Some surveillance would be smart. Drill the right. Right. Skip this. Right, I'm just going to run through this fast. Hopefully, I don't fail and do it. Sometimes you can fail if the cards don't there, do what you want them to do. Because, by the way, guys, with this stealth, you need, you need to be patient. Sometimes the guards can go the places you want them to to kill them. Sometimes they can be a right annoyance and not go anywhere you want them to. So, but you need to be patient. But it's worth it. And once you get the hang of it, once you can do it like me, just keep keep doing it every time by yourself, fast and easy. Uh, you do it really fast. Normally, which is fast, really fast for me. It's fast I've done it. I can there's always four guards, one security room which you have to kill this the security one first. So and then all the all of the cameras are gone. If there's someone outside and you have the like the opportunity to do it and you think you can do it, then kill them, yeah of course. You have to kill the manager as well. The civilian that walks around, he's the only, he's the only one that walks around. But basically, um you're gonna want as much body bags as you can because obviously you need body bags. Right, so yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. There's no camera here, so that's good. It's kind of annoying having the security room on this side. It's amazing if it's on the other side, because on the other side it's super easy. On this side, it's a right bummer. But yeah, on this you're going to want to... On this stealth one, you have to kill all the civilians. It's... I don't know, like, for me, it took me a few tries to get used to it, straight away. So, like, for me to get used to it, as I mean, I mean, like, where I don't fail it. When I first tried to do it, I kept failing. But then that means you're failing, you're practicing, you're learning. You're learning by your mistakes. I could just kill that guy, but obviously the cameras. So, but if there's no cameras, I would just be able to kill him. That's the manager, by the way. 
he just walks around. He's proper annoying if you kill a guard in it and he walks and sees. Oh, that's good. Wait, what? The security room's not even on this side. I'm blind. Oh my god, the security room's in the best place ever, and I thought it was on that side. What am I on about? If it's on this side, guys, then that's what you want. <gasps> Is this guy coming outside? No, he's going upstairs. See, look, like, once I kill the guy in this kid's room, because there's a camera on the roof, I'll be able to go up and kill him. Let me quickly kill this guy. That's why you want the key card, because you want to shove it in there. Pop him off. That's one guard down, free to go. You want to obviously wait to answer the pager. Come on, be quick, I want to get the guy on the roof. I'm going to run around the other side because he's going to walk to the glass bit. This is good. That means there'll be two guards down already. Alright, just two to go. Alright, shove him there. Alright, I'm going to want to... Oh, whoa. Okay. That... Whoa. I did not expect that. One other guard down. If I go onto the roof, I'll be able to get the other guard down. There's only one left already. Three minutes. Oh my god, if I do this this fast, this will be the fastest I've ever done. Right, they're the body location bags by the way guys, always put the security ones there, you can put bags in that bin, or you can just come around and show the bags here, no one sees them. Right, quick, 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 No. No. Oh no, that, that actually worked, that went well. <gasps> oh. Right guys, if you come onto the roof up there the way I did, and see the guy stood there, he always stands there and stares forward. You can kill him, shoot him in the inside of hell and he'll fall. But if you're walking on the roof, come up, always come around the outside, just so then people inside can't see it. So if he's there, you can kill him, don't kill him here so he could force on there. Shoot him from stood here. Just because I thought I got caught, but it was him, the civilian. So I'm going to have to clean his body up now in case someone sees. But I can just stick the body there. And then, where's he got? Right. I'll just cut through this fence. And just pick him up. I can't believe there's only two, only one guard left. And it's not even been five minutes. This is the fastest. If I kill this one guard. No. Ah, he's got to run this side. I'm going to quickly go around. So yeah, this is basically what you do. It's really easy. You guys have seen how easy it's been for me. Yeah, I got caught by a civilian, but I just turned around and, and just killed him. So It's not even hard. Oh, that's good. There's not people there. That's amazing. And I don't think there's people there as well, so I'm getting really lucky on this one. There's only one guy there. You have to kill the civilians in a certain way as well, whilst the civilians over there were seeing the alarm go off and you would just fail. So I'm going to show you everything that you need to do. Uh, well, basically, if you want to know what I'm doing, because obviously, like I said, you need to be patient. I'm waiting for this guard to walk down here. He normally stands there and go in there. The best opportunity to kill guards is to always wait here. If they go in there, just shoot them, because no one can see, unless the manager... Oh, he's still there. I forgot. I forgot about the manager. But yeah, always kill them in there, and then you just quickly walk through in there, answer the page, get the body back, come around and stick it in the bin, if the security room's there, stick it in there. And, yeah. I'm getting stupid party invites. Um. But, yeah. Or, if, or the guy could come through here, but Every time he stands there, he normally goes in there. So now just watch what I do. Just why you have to be patient, because sometimes the guards can be a pain and not go anywhere you want them to, and they'll just be walking around. So, you could do, like, other f ways to get it done faster, but you have a potential of getting caught. But it does go well sometimes. Like, you can place down a jammer, kill all the guards, answer the pages once it's done, kill all the civilians just within that 10 seconds. If there's like one or two guards left, then you can. But not if there's all four. Don't worry, you can't do that. Because you have to answer all four pages by yourself. I doubt you're able to do that. 
see this guy's been a pain. He's stood there. He's never stood there that long before. Boom. That's what you want to do. Then just go near and the pager. I kill most guards in here. This is where all the guards always die. So every time, every time you see a guard coming here, always kill them from over there. Don't like be scared to shoot them. Always make sure to shoot them in the head inside here though, so they fall in. Don't shoot them here because the the sieves will see. Right, so now that manager needs to die because I can't proceed and kill the civilians because he'll be walking around. See that? That's what I mean about the manager. He's a complete pain. He's proper annoying. Oh, if he was stood there, I'd just, I, I would have just been able to kill him. Where is he? I could just have a look on the cameras, but... If he's not up here, I'm going to have a look on the cameras. Yeah. Alright, while I try and find the manager, I'm just going to skip, like, the recording. Come on, dude. He's doing my head in. He's actually doing my head in now. <sighs> See, look, nine minutes now. I'm going towards ten minutes because the people don't want... Because people don't go where you want them to. That's the most annoying thing about this game. He's probably stood this window. I look like a tar. Oh, I can't see him. There he is. If he's in here, I could just kill the civilian and then I kill him as well. That's what I might do actually, to save time. I want to wait just to see if I can see him. Walk past or something. I'm gonna stand here and just wait for him to highlight. Here he is. Come on. You know you wanna go where I want you to. Yep. Yeah. There we go, he's going. He's going. Is he coming outside? He went upstairs. Did he? Yeah. Kill him this side, just just in case they see. I doubt they can, but sometimes they can because this game's just weird. So yeah, just kill him so he falls either way. Right now, everyone's gone. You could just kill the civilians. You have to do it in a certain way though, because then the alarm can still go off. Right, so sometimes there's people sat there, one there, one there. You can't just shoot them because if, if there's people there, they'll see, they'll scream, you'll panic, the alarm will probably go off. So you want to come here. Crouch. Shoot. Wait, let me just kill this guy. You want to shoot this guy from here. And then the people that sat there, you want to shoot them from here as well in the head there. Boom, boom. Oh, and there is people stood there. So you can't just shoot them from here because they'll fall and all the people in there will see and the alarms go off. This guy, yeah, you want to shoot him and he'll fall there. So that's fine. But these people, you have to do it from this place. No other place. You have to come here, bang, bang, and they fall so they can't see. You see? That's it. All these people are dead. See, look, that's why I bought that. You have to buy a cleaning cost skill, or else if you kill all these civilians, it'll cost you a lot of money. But 6,000 each time is good. Oh, cool, they're both together. And then you want to kill. Once you kill. Once you kill the people in the back room. That's the back room, the people I just killed. You want to come outside and there's always two walkers. By what I mean by that, there's always two civilians just walking around the street. Kill the two guys there. 
don't kill them in front of the bank. Do not kill them in front of the bank. Kill them like around here. If they're in front of the bank, just wait till they're behind a car or something. Just as long as the front of the bank can't actually see them. And then, <coughs> right, you want to kill all the people in the main lobby. And now, you, and now I know you're thinking, all oh, them. Well, I'll probably get caught. You just want to go through the back door. In the bank teller, there's two sieves, and if they be alerted, they can just press the button and the alarm will go off. These two here, this woman and then that guy. And then there's all the people in the main lobby. There's two doors, one each side. You want to look, there's always one door open. So that door's closed, and then you want to show the door that's open on this side, yeah. You want to just quickly kill these people. Go into here, sling a grenade just in the middle. They will all die. And then there's always a guy on the bench outside, just want to pop out and kill him. And that's it. You have a whole bank to yourself. You can shoot, make as much noise, make as much noise as you want. You are not alerted. See? And that is it. That's how you sell a stealth the thing. Obviously, I'm going to finish it. So, I need to get the film module. So, once I've drilled into the bank and everything, um, I'll be back. I will be back. Boom! It's finally opened after waiting 10 years. Now, most of the time, on the one that I showed you, there's always no... Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if there's always, but every time I've done it, there's never been any cash in here. If you're doing it for... Well, like I said, I was just doing it quickly, but if there's cash in here, if you're doing it for the cash, just take all the cash, whatever, do whatever you want, take all the cash. If you're doing it for the fast XP, if there's cash in here, just leave, just open the vault, go into the room, so then it says, why are you in the room, or whatever, then just leave the room, and you want to go to these locations, in here, there could be money on there, um, so just take the money off course, and this is why, and then if you go into the bank teller thingy, there's money here, not a lot of money, but obviously you still want to take it, because, and then, this is why you need the two ECM jammers, because you open these and you don't, and then, but for the fast XP, once you take one of these, you can just escape, and you don't actually need to take any cash to the van. Boom, see? So, just do this one. Bang! Now you just run to the run and escape. So, let me just quickly do this, and then I'll show you all the stuff. Obviously, if you're doing it for cash, like I said, take whatever you want, but if you're doing it for XP, just leave everything in there and just have... You can even just have one ECM jammer. You don't need two, just have one. And just open that ATM up and just escape. Fast and easy. Obviously, that took me a longer time. A longer time, because as you saw in the video, like I said, the guards sometimes, a lot of times, don't go where you need them to. And most of the, of the time is, is to do with waiting for the drill. But you always, I always, always, mostly have it finished in under 10 minutes. So, alright, so yeah. You saw all that XP. It wasn't a lot for my level. But when you're level 0, that's a lot of XP. And if you can do it fast and you just leave all the cash, you'll level up in no time, trust me. I always spam Hoxton Breakout, anyways. So that's how, that's where I get my XP and money from. Cool, I need that. Oh, so yeah, wait, let me just go to my menu, just so I can show you something there. As you saw as well, in my last stream. Oh yeah, look, there's the card in my hand, because I'm infamous, so I've prestiged. But I'll show you the, the contract again that I did. That one there. Both of the, of the pro jobs, if they both say, if, if you're doing it for the XP, then they both say, like that look. Experience reduced by 1%. If they both say that, both of these, well, if that says that, then just do that one. But And if that says it, and then that still says it, then just do the normal ones. Because they don't give that much less. As you can see, look. Death Rish. It's still over 200k XP. It's just a bit less um, money. Wait. Oh, it's pretty much the same. Alright, let me see if it shows. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, like, it shows how much 
contract I've done. On this one on Death Wish I've done 14, because obviously I know, I know how to sell it. On the gold one I've done 13. It's all on Death Wish as well. That I've only done one because I don't do that. And now I've done 8 for when the other ones have been on minuses. But as you can see, in my last video, my stream, I was only... Oh, well, I was level 0 when I started the stream. But as you can see now, I'm level 86, prestige 1. Because the max level is 100, and you can get in for me once you get to 100, and you can prestige. I just call it prestige. So yeah, I've leveled up a lot since last time. And I have a lot of money and stuff. And yes, so I hope you all enjoyed this. If it helped, I hope it helped. If it did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I shall see you guys in the next video.